Hello friends, for this week's weekly challenge, we are going to use a new model and it's made by a friend of mine, SpyBG, and it is a Pixel, which is a pixel art model. This week's challenge is, let me check here in Discord. In a faraway land where swords clash and magic use is rampant, fellow adventurers have gathered in a tavern to rest their weary bones. Their weary bones? Weary bones? Weary bones, right? Create a fantasy tavern with a minimum of three characters in the scene. So that's what we're gonna do today. So this will be one of our weekly Sebros episodes. So uh, might be a little longer and calmer than usual. Let's uh, get on with it. First off, let's check the winner of last week, which was a glow with this image here. And the contest was landscapes. So this is very cool. Sorry for my face blocking a little bit of the image, but I think it'll be fine. I particularly like the little in-painted thing up here. Let's, let me zoom in. So we had two people having some sort of a little snack up here. That's cute. Very, uh, very detailed piece of art. Lots of stuff to zoom into. Anyway, if you want to check that out more, go into the Discord. A quick look at the contestant this week. We have this scene from Exelon. That's pretty cool. Rune here. Some Viking madness. And is there an iPhone or a, a phone of some sort? That's uh, very techy. Here's another scene. Here's Peter's submission. Is he raising a candle? He's having a glass of candle. That's all right. You do you, buddy. Fire skies sends in this one. Here's Piscabo. This one's very nice. Ocelot sent this one in. Faces are pretty good. Let me check this. I like this. This is nice. We have a little happy accident here down with the hands and the fingers, but let's not pay any mind to that. The faces are cool, very feature rich, and I love the depth of field where you can have the blur here in the background. Very nice, like this. So back to the pixel model, and here are some examples of the pixel art, and this is a 2.1 model. I see he's using, uh, we can't really see it, but probably says N Pixar down here. That's an embedding that I downloaded from Illuminati model, I think. I'm gonna, I'll put the link in the description below. These are cool, I like that. Nice. Anyway, let's get started. Let's go Fantasy Tavern, Adventures Resting, Eating Dinner, Having Drinks, in a cozy, magical tavern. Let's go Tavern again. We're getting two taverns in there. And since this is a 2.1 model based, trained on 768, we're changing the resolution to 768 to 768. Now we're just gonna start generating a couple of images to see if we need to make any changes or, you know, what's going on. First impression is we need to be inside the tavern. Now we're outside, inside Fantasy Tavern. Gonna generate new ones. There's a lot of outside going on here. Gonna drop the styles there. Select that and I press Control up arrow. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's check these results out. They're all fairly cool, to be honest. I think the first one here with the actual bar is nice, but that person is kind of, I know what's going on there. She's half a person. This one's kind of, the composition isn't fun, just sitting boring here. But this one's nice. You have two people by this table one people by that table, and you have some sort of lamp up here. It's kind of nice. Let's see if we can get some cool lighting in there. I'm gonna add in dramatic hard lighting. Let's try God rays, flying dust, and shining lights. Maybe we'll even spice it up and add an open fire in there. That'll be fun. I think we can afford that, right? 
Okay, so our open fire kind of turned it to the outside, but we'll see what happens. So we sort of got what we wanted with the fire in the third one here. We have the fire in the background. The lighting isn't super interesting. And while we have some some sort of pixel art, it's not. It's like halfway there. Some are better than the others. But let's try some some more ones. I'm gonna add pixel art. Just gonna up that a little bit. Maybe one point one. And how about we get some little more space into this scene? Actually, let's just do three by two. So let's try four new ones here. I like what's going on with the third one here. We got the fire that we wanted, and they're actually sitting around it. We have a huge table here, like a table with several steps, and some characters sitting there. But what I particularly liked was the light coming from the top here. So I think this is what we're going to try to work with. And let's see if we can in-paint with this model at all. I think first of all we're going to send it to image to image. Because we're looking to get this uh, a little bigger. It's going to go maybe... Let's see how big we can go before it uh, crashes my computer when I'm recording. That will be a fun little surprise. We'll start with one image for now. Now we didn't get any fun of the surprises with the crashes, but what we did get was a happy little surprise with this image. We kind of fixed the table back here. We got a little stool or something here. Now this guy's kind of floating on his chair, but I'm okay with that. I love the lights hanging from the roof here. Let's work with this, see what we can do. So we're gonna send this to InPaint and we're gonna start to fix these characters. So the challenge was at least three people in the scene. So let's have at least three decently rendered people. Now we have a lot of other people. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven. And what's back here and here can, is questionable, but uh, we got something. So we got an adventure resting on a chair. We're going to change in paint to only masked. We're going to keep original because we want to use what's available behind here. And, and we're going to leave the rest at default for now. And now this adventure is not floating anymore. And the pixels seem to be getting better. And we have a face and we have eyes here. So that's nice. So that's much better compared to the jargle faces that we had previously. So let's drag this into here. And let's go back and we're going to change this character here. I'm going to change this to fantasy adventure in leather armor. And again, we are generating this. Now, technically, we could in paint several people at one time, but we're just going to do it this like this for now. It's a fun little project, don't you think? And I'm actually happy with that as well. Now you can clearly see the difference. These two are pixelated and more in style with some of the, the scene here. We're going to need to fix the flame there as well, but let's fix the characters here first. Fantasy Adventure holding a cup. Man, that's some real adventure hair right there. Free flowing and wild. No, we didn't hold the cup. Oh, we forgot to save that one. My apologies. So let's drag that in there. And fix this one again. I will get a different one, but it's okay. We're going to change this back into Fancy Adventure in Leather Armor. And this little process of in painting in a scene can be very soothing. And it's something that I can do with my thumbnails for as well can generate a starting point and then change pieces of it. It's really nice. All right. Let's take this one. 
and let's have this character here. I love the pose. It's having adventures slump down in wooden chair. I think I want to have two images to choose from here. Is he wearing a red bandana? Maybe, or it's a parrot. We'll see what it uh, turns out to be when we create something new here. I do think that our second one is better. If you look at the first one here, it's kind of broken down here. So we'll just use this, the second one. And now he's got a beautiful lush black beard here. And we still got this slumped down kind of pose with a leg out. So I like this. I'm gonna keep going. Let's fix the fire here now. Let's go up a bit like this. Burning fire with flying embers. Let's see if we can get that in there. We might not get the flying embers because we have nothing above here. We might need to manually paint that. You know, it seems to be a couple here. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. You could have a couple more embers here for added effect, but I am happy. And apologies for this mask here. It is not what you think it is. We're going to paint this character back here. Bartender. Head and torso. Do you think that will uh, mess him up? We'll see. You can see the torso here, but his face is... I don't know what that is. That needs to be fixed. We're going to up the denoising just a little bit to get more changes in the image. And we'll do it again. This seems to be much better. And it has that kind of bartender's... What's the name? You know, the clock that you have hanging in front of you. I can't remember right now. Doesn't matter. Not important. He seems a little small compared to the other guys, but uh, some people are just built different. It's not his fault. And it's nothing wrong with it either. All right, let's fix this bystander here to the left. And what is this? Maybe a woman adventure. And actually the denoising needs to go down a bit. We don't need that much of a change because we had a good... Oh, that's some short legs right there. That's not really what we're looking for. Let's try again. Now this looks more like it. Now the legs or the feet are... I, I, I was going to say they were going to go behind here. But now it says it seems that this character got mini feet instead. Yep. It turned into a small person standing on top of this. That's not really what I want. Let's um, say standing behind... It's not really a wall, it's not really a table. Let's just put table in there. Just to see if we can get it to work. It's not perfect, but I think it's a little better. Because now, at least you can barely see the legs. So they're going below this part here. Let's fix the last character here on the left. Man sitting on chair resting. You know what, this, we've done a couple of adventures. Let's keep doing that. We'll be happy to have more friends. Everyone likes friends, right? Well, this friend is no more. It turned into stuff instead. And you know what? Let's leave that as a happy accident in the spirit of Bob Ross. And I'm thinking I want some more dusts here up in the sky. So we're going to send this to in paint sketch. I'm going to take, uh, I think, maybe that color here. I want a small one. Just going to add some stuff in here. Going to look a little messy, but I hope the AI will fix that. We're good friends, the AI and I. Okay. Now we copied this into InPainting. And now we're going to mask this area out. 
There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we have some dust here flying in the air. Maybe not as pixelated as we wanted, but after this little ordeal, I'm very happy with this. So that's cool. Maybe we can even add, I have a wild idea here. Okay, let's drop this back into in paint sketch. And we're actually going to paint around the light here and this light here. Man, if this works, I'm a genius. We're sending this to uh, in paint again and remove all the masks and that and that. So now we have flying dust and we have tavern light. Not a lot of dust. Might mess it up since it's two pieces here and it might be too small actually. Let's do that first. Let's go 0.6 and let's take one lamp at a time. Since they're so far apart, it might not be zoomed in enough. I mean, it kind of worked, but um, it's not great. And we need tavern light hanging from a chain. So we're going to put that up there. Now I am having lots of fun. I hope you are too spending this little time with me creating this week's weekly challenge. And it's a great way to get away from the hustle and bustle of all the other news videos that has been coming out this past week. And I think it's not the flying dust that we wanted, but it's kind of cool. It, it turned these into chains instead. So that's a happy little accident that I am, I would have been happy with, except I can't, I bothered with this little thing here. So let's try again. Now this is the fun part about AI generation. You know, the happy little accidents that Bob Ross used to have are much more interesting now. So what we had as dust flying in, in the light, well, that's something entirely different now. So I'm saying let's run with it. So let's take that one and come back in there and let's repaint this. And while we're not getting the same thing, we're getting something similar with these chains going around. Here. And I think that's cool. It's great. I'm happy with that. And I actually think that I am happy with this scene in general. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to send it to extras. I'm going to be happy with two for now. Uh, let's go with uh, Yesarjan. No, let's go with the classic Lanchos for now on the Swin IR. Hey, this is Editor Seb here. I just want to mention that you might want to improve the image a little bit with the pixelization extension by Automatic 1111. And you download that from this URL here. I'm going to put it in the comments. You can install that through the extensions tab. You need to copy this here. And then you go inside your extensions, install from URL, slap that in there, press install. And then you're going to download these three files, these checkpoints. You're going to put them inside your stable diffusion, extensions, pixelization, checkpoints. And when they're here, just restart your stable diffusion. And once that is done, you will have inside extras. You will have enable pixelization down here. We're going to enable that and we're going to drag in our final image. I'm going to keep the resolution here. And now you can have, since this is a, all the pixels in our image are uneven. So, I mean, since this works from a visual standpoint, the pixels aren't perfect, but we can change, let's say, pixel size eight, for example, and generate this. And now the image will be output with every pixel exactly the same size. As you can see here. So if you want pixel perfect, make sure you get this. And while that's rendering, I'm, this was cool, magic ritual kind of thing. 
This is nice as well. Oh, lots of work. Yeah, Glow was the winner of last week. This is a pretty good submission even this week. <laughs> this is great. They're playing board games. Anyway. We have our final image here. I am gonna save that and we are gonna drop that into challenges here. So come join us in our weekly challenges. It's a lot of fun and I'm done. See you in the next video. As always, have a good one. See ya.